hair down my back. That's what I want, and that's what I'm gonna get. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am gonna be telling you guys about how I am going to be maintaining and growing my newly tech slacks hair, you know, to my goal, which is mid bat length by February of 2019. So just a little backstory. Um, I transitioned for two years and I was natural for two more years. Um, and I recently just text axed my hair about a week ago. I decided to text ax my hair for a couple different reasons. If you want to know why, please go check out my blog, indynicole.com. I posted a blog post about why I text ax my hair and all of that. So make sure you go check that out. But in this video, I'm going to just be sharing with you guys things that I learned um, that my relaxed hair liked when I was relaxed previously and what I'm going to do to maintain my newly relaxed hair. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing to my hair um, religiously is deep conditioning and washing my hair twice a week. When I was relaxed before, I deep conditioned my hair twice a week. Every Sunday, I shampoo washed with a sulfate-free shampoo and deep conditioned. And every Wednesday, I co-washed with a conditioner and deep conditioned my hair after that. Um, and that worked for me. When I was really on my stuff with my relaxed hair, it was definitely growing. I also plan on, you know, trimming my ends and dusting my ends to keep them healthy because I was natural and my hair was in the four type category and I had a lot of single strand knots that I still have on my hair so I'm definitely dusting and trimming to get rid of those another thing that I plan on doing is protective styling I'm pretty simple when it comes to my hair I like to do you know a little stuff here and there to it but for the most part through the week I'm pretty busy so I'll probably just be throwing my hair up in a bun or doing two braids after I wash it Definitely going to be air drying a lot and, you know, maybe blow drying towards the end of my relaxer stretch. Um, that's another thing that I believe is going to help me get to my goal of mid back length. I can't say that. mid back length. mid back length hair by February is I'm stretching my relaxers. I do self-relax. I use the ORS uh, relaxer in normal. Probably going to do it every four months about three times a year another thing that i plan on doing is moisturizing and sealing my hair every night or every other night depending on how my hair is feeling and like what state my hair is in whether it's flat ironed air dried you know if it's up in the style or whatever you know i'm a moisturizing seal as needed also um make sure my protein moisture balance is good by alternating a protein deep conditioner with a moisturizing deep conditioner just so that my hair doesn't get too soggy and over moisturized but also not too brittle and um too much protein uh deep protein treatments i might do them once a month maybe maybe once every two months and at the same thing with hot oil treatments i might do that once once or twice a month as well as clarifying my hair i'm definitely going to do that like once a month so maybe the first week of the month i might clarify then i'll use my sulfate free shampoos for the other three washes and then somewhere in between there i'll throw in a hot oil treatment or a protein treatment depending on what my hair you know needs at that time and i'm gonna build my products up to where they were before i went relaxed i'm gonna go back to all my goodies that worked before for me and then once I get everything together, I will come back to you guys with a product video showing you what I use to maintain my relaxed hair. That's what I plan on doing. And I plan on taking, um, I plan on be, damn, it was a big ass. <laughs> I plan on being consistent and not taking my hair for granted because that's something that I definitely did do when I was relaxed before. So yeah, I'm happy with my decision. I don't care. Can't nobody tell me nothing about what is growing out of my head. I love my text laxed hair. I love my natural hair. But right now, 
yeah, I'm loving this style. I could never achieve a style like this when my hair was natural. It would just frizz up. It just was not cooperating with what I want to do in the look that I'm going for right now in my life. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and let you know what's going on with my hair because I do have natural hair videos on this channel. And unfortunately, that's not going to be anymore. Now it's going to be more relaxed styling videos, hair care videos for relaxed hair. Not to say though that you can't take tips because a lot of the things that I'm going to be doing, I was doing when I was natural too. So that's it you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to follow my journey, please make sure you subscribe like this video comment down below how you feeling about your hair right now is you tired of being natural is you tired of being relaxed is, is your hair breaking is it healthy just let me know start the conversation down below in the comment section don't forget to check out indynicole.com and until my next video y'all stay blessed peace